think this is bad for me. <laughs> Like a lot of young people, I think I take my health for granted. I don't get enough sleep, my diet relies too heavily on grilled cheeses, and I spend a lot of my work day sitting on my ass. Recently I went to the doctor and I found out that I'm anemic. And what that means is that I have an iron deficiency. So there's not enough iron in my blood and it's a possible explanation for why I don't have a lot of energy. The iron deficiency in itself is fine. I am taking iron supplements and I should be totally okay. I am okay, but it was kind of a wake up call. I wanna make a change and that's why I'm attempting to live the healthiest day ever. Cue fireworks. This day is gonna serve as a crash course where I spend all of it doing healthy things that I wanna make habits. Now, what actually constitutes healthy habits varies a little bit depending on your source, which is why I'm using the greatest source of all, BuzzFeed.com. I found a couple BuzzFeed articles that list a bunch of healthy recipes. I found articles with charts that tell you how much sleep you can have, how much water you need to drink, and I'm gonna be using those articles to inform everything I do tomorrow. I'm gonna make sure I get enough sleep, I'm gonna make sure I'm eating healthy and drinking enough water, I'm gonna make sure that I'm exercising, and then I'm also gonna make sure that I am taking care of my mind and my emotional well-being. Look me in the eyes. Get used to this, this smile. Smile of a healthy person. All right, friends. So I'm gonna kick off my day of healthy living tomorrow. But to start it off, I gotta get a good night's sleep. So according to the National Sleep Foundation, as found in a BuzzFeed article, I should be getting seven to nine hours of sleep. So it is currently 10.30 p.m. and I'm going to go to bed and then we'll be rocking uh, a full eight hours. Right. It's early in the morning and I'm whispering because I don't want to wake up my roommate. My hair looks crazy, but yeah, um, you have to get up early if you want to go for a run in Los Angeles because by the time it's 8 a.m. it's already really hot. Exercise! Ooh, this is the part I am least looking forward to. I used to be a pretty active runner. I'd probably go for like a two mile run every day, if not every other day. That has not been true since I graduated. It's 6.30 in the morning and it's 67 degrees already. So I'm in workout clothes and I am going to go for a run for probably the first time in a year and a half. So I'm proud of myself because I just got back. I ran about two and a half miles and I actually ran it. I only stopped to walk like the last two blocks because they were uphill but I feel like if I do this again, I would be able to power through. Also, I just re-watched the footage of me jogging. I look and sound like a fucking dying seagull. During my healthy day, I'm gonna try and drink eight cups of water. I know when it comes to water, I need to drink way more. So I'm at Trader Joe's and I am picking out the ingredients uh, based on BuzzFeed articles so that I can have a healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch. I got to work a little bit early, so I'm actually not gonna be late, which is, very healthy, even though it was unplanned. So I made it to the office. I'm gonna eat breakfast here. I'm gonna do some work. I'm gonna try and stay active during the day. Gotta drink more water. This day is just sort of gonna be a test to figure out how purposeful I can be with choosing healthy foods. According to BuzzFeed, the healthy breakfast I'm going to have is an easy yogurt overnight oat. I have my yogurt, flaxseed, and raspberry delight right here. I just keep having to go to the bathroom because I'm drinking so much damn water and I don't like it. I'm gonna have to fucking pee again in an hour. It is lunchtime. So I found a BuzzFeed article that gave a recipe for a avocado egg uh, veggie sandwich, which sounds delicious, but it's unfortunately, I'm at the office and I don't have access to a stove, so I'm not gonna use the egg, but I am going to include all the veggies and the avocado. We have a setback for my healthy day because I fucked up a little bit. What's wrong with that avocado? Why can't I use it, Kristen? It's green and it's hard. What does that even it's mean? It's gonna be like cutting into a bowling ball, my friend. <laughs> Kristen's also gonna make a sandwich because we're sandwich girls. Yeah, also I saw that Jen had sandwich fixins and I was like, yep. She's a fixin' for my sandwich. That's a lunchtime sandwich, baby. It has a little hat. I can't wait to eat it. Maya's gonna film you eating lunch. I ate my whole sandwich and it was pretty, we had a good sandwich time, right Kristen? It was a great sandwich time. On my healthy day, I'm actually gonna try and slow down and take specific time to like check in with myself. I found a BuzzFeed video that said when you're working, every half hour to hour, you should get up and walk around for a few minutes. So I'm gonna incorporate that into my work day. I'm just going for a little bit of a walk. 
just to get the blood flowing. And you know, I meditated for a bit after lunch, just uh, set aside 20 minutes just so I could sit, be peaceful. Things are going okay. This water thing is really pissing me off though. Oh, I was finishing up a cup of water and earlier my allergies had been acting up so I blew my nose. And when I was drinking that water, I realized that there was a used tissue at the bottom of it that I didn't know was in there. So that's fucking disgusting. This is the best day. The best day ever. <laughs> After work, I'm gonna eat a healthy dinner and then I'm gonna go to my friend's like art show. And I think that'll be a really good way to just sort of be at peace and be thoughtful and be with people I care about. When it comes to mental health on the healthy day, I'm gonna be as introspective as I can. So now I'm at to dinner with friends. I didn't get anything so I cooked dinner at home but I have been drinking my water and I did have to go to the fucking bathroom again. This is part of me trying to like make sure that I'm taking care of myself by spending time with people I care about. This salmon recipe looks really good, pretty simple. I'm gonna make this for dinner. My healthy day is less about whether I'll feel 100% better after one day of being healthy and it's more about testing how easy it is to incorporate these habits into my life to see if they're things that I could actually see myself doing every day going forward. The whole day was a little bit exhausting just to keep track of the things I needed to do. It was hard to remember to drink all that water and then it was annoying to have to go to the bathroom all the time and it was also really frustrating just to keep having my work day interrupted. But honestly, I felt really good <laughs> the entire day. Like I felt really energized because I got enough sleep. I really enjoyed most of the meals I had. And the best part was like, I felt really calm throughout the day. And I'm generally like a person that's running around. I just felt calm. I didn't feel scared or anxious or anything. And then seeing my friends at night just was like the cherry on top because it was like, hey, like this is a great way to cap off a day. So it's good to be able to see your friends and support them and feel supported by them. That's like a powerful way to end the day. I also think that introducing some of these elements and making sure that I try to exercise a little bit more, maybe not every day, but maybe every other day, will be pretty helpful for me going forward. A healthy day. Lady tested. Lady, probably healthier, maybe.